Hi, in this video, let us see how to import a CAD file and georeference it. To import a CAD file, click Add Data under the Map tab. Now select the CAD file and then click OK to import it. Now in the contents you can see the CAD file. To view the CAD file on the map, right click on it and then click zoom to layer. Now you can see the CAD file in the map now. The CAD file that we have here is Siadi. So before georeferencing, let us locate Siadi in the map. So as you can see, the CAD file is not located in the, in the exact position it is located somewhere in the coast of Africa. To start georeferencing, we must first define a projection for this CAD file. Click on the CAD file and then click manage under the CAD layer and then select define projection. In the input data set, select the CAD file and under the coordinate system Click on this icon. Now under the search bar, type WGS1984 and then click enter. Then expand the projected coordinate system. Under projected coordinate system, expand world. Under world, select WGS1984 web marketer auxiliary sphere and then click OK. After selecting, click on run to define a projection for this CAD file. Now the projection is defined. Now let's start the georeferencing process. Let's save this view of the CAD file by clicking on the bookmarks under the map tab and then clicking new bookmark. Let's save this as CAD. Then locate Seattle in the map. Let's save this view also as a bookmark as Seattle. Now let's go back to the CAD file. Click on manage under the CAD layer and then select georeference. Now select a point in the CAD file that you can identify in the map. Now under the georeference bar, add control points. Select control points and then choose a point in the CAD file that you can easily identify in the map, like an road interjection. Left click on it once and then go to map, bookmark and then select Seattle. Now find the point in the map and then left click. Now we have completed one ground control point. Let's repeat the process again. Let's go back to the CAD file and then select another point. Let's select this interjection by left clicking on it once and then going back to Seattle. and then placing the control points on the map as well. Now we have placed two ground control points. Now let's go back to the georeference bar and then select apply to complete the process. Now as you can see the CAD file places correctly on the map. Please verify that the CAD file sits exactly on the map. 
now if you are satisfied then click on save and then complete the georeferencing process and then click close georeference